Alright, cricket time now on the Sportsmax Zone and the Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League is set to bowl off later on a Thursday with the new franchise Antigua and the Barbuda Falcons hosting 2021 champions in Kitsanevis Patriots at the Sir Vivian Richard Stadium in North Sound. The Falcons franchise replaces Jamaica Talawas marking a return for the country to the CPL since the Hawks' bills were defunct in 2014. Here's a look at the two squads, starting with the Falcons. So we have Imad Wasim. He has been signed. Brandon King, Fabian Allen, Asmatula, Omar Zai, Mohamed Amir, Roshan Primus, Chris Green, Fakhar Zaman, Hayden Walsh Jr., Shamar Springer, Kelvin Pittman, Justin Graves, Jewel Andrew, Joshua James, Teddy Bishop, Kofi James and Jamar Hamilton, all for the Antigua and the Barbuda Falcons. Now let's take a look at the St. Gitsa Nevis Patriots. Evan Lewis, Shofin Rutherford, Sikander Raza, Tristan Stobbs, Kyle Mayers, Mikhail Louis, Dominic Drakes, Wanindu Hasaranga, Riley Rousseau, Joshua De Silva, Virasami Permal, Odin Smith, Andre Fletcher, Ashmead Ned, Nuan Tussara, Johan Lane and Ryan John. Well, the Caribbean Premier League will be live on Sports Max uh, all tournament long, starting with tonight's match at 7 p.m. That's 8 in the Eastern Caribbean. So it's that time again. We already started feeling the excitement. It is the biggest party in sport. The women, they gave us a treat. Very soon we'll know who are the WCPL champions 2024. But team, Let's just pick our teams before we start discussing because um, I don't want anybody changing up on me. So can you tell me your team quickly before we do the analysis? Antigua and Barbuda Falcons. It looks like a Jamaica Talawa squad. Remember? There are remnants of it. What are you going with? TKR, as T usual. And yeah. TKR for mm. me, right? Okay. So we all called our teams. Anyway, so tonight, exciting matchups in Kitsa Nevis Patriots. We get to see Evan Lewis again. The team looks very, very balanced, Ricardo. Both teams, um, of course, a lot of um, good international recruitments. And I think it's going to be an even match tonight. Yeah, for sure. You know, you pointed out Evan Lewis. Um, it's great to see him back. It will be interesting to see what he delivers. I have my eye, though, on the young Antigua and Joel Andrew, just 17 okay. years old. He could become the youngest um, to play in the CPL. At this stage, he is younger than when Nicholas Puran played his first a CPL match. And if he plays before the playoffs, which I suspect he will, um, then he will become the youngest to compete at the CPL. And I'm excited about this youngster, Lance and Mariah, because we saw him at the Under-19 World Cup earlier this year, top scoring for the West Indies. No doubt, a lot of talent has been magnificent. No surprise in the school league um, back home and in the Leeward Islands competitions as well. And he is such an exciting talent. He's really just an exciting talent. And I can't wait to see him get an opportunity at this season CPL and see how he handles big man cricket. Because, you know, Leighton Levy was just making the point regarding track and field and how difficult it is to make the transition from the junior level to the senior level. I think it can be similar with cricket as well, moving from boy cricket to big man cricket. Yeah. And, and that's what we're asking the 17-year-old Joel Andrew to do here at the CPL. But I think he has a lot of quality. And I think if he gets the opportunity, he will show us a lot of what he can do in a really good way. Yeah, and we have seen in recent cycles of on the 19 West Indies cricket, a lot of players coming from the Windwards and the Leeward Islands with, with talent, and Joel Andrew is one of the latest. Very, very impressed with his composure and his confidence at the crease. He, he bats like he's experienced, you know, and I, I like that about him. So I think he's a, he has a lot of heart, 
and he's very brave when he's batting. So I think I agree with you, Ricardo, that he's one for the future, and yeah. we hope that he transitions well into the seniors because we have we have seen talent as teenagers before in West Indies cricket, and it doesn't transition into world stars in their twenties. So let's hope that Joel Andrew can can buck that trend and become a real star for the region. Yeah, exciting stuff. And speaking about stars, both teams, they have um, a star-studded lineup when it comes to international players. So we have Mohamed Amir. Um, we know what he's capable of doing. Imad with Sim for the Antigua and Barbuda Falcons. Bakar Zaman, Chris Green, the Aussie. Lance, you have a lot of time for Australia when it comes to sports. They have the Afghan all-rounder, Azmatula Omar Zai. So I think they look really, really strong when it comes to the international recruitment. Yeah, and you touched on it earlier on, Moran. I think that if you look at the balance of the teams and all of the teams, it is yet another um, Republic Bank CPL tournament that because of the rosters, when you look at them, it is hard to pick a winner because there is talent abounding in, in all of these teams. And um, yeah, I, I, I think the Falcons are exhibiting a lot of, of quality on their roster. But to, to be fair, such is true as well for the other, all of the other franchises. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah and speaking about that, um, your comments on the recruitments for St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots because they have also a, a star-studded international lineup. Yeah, and you'd, and you'd expect that. I mean, this is the CPL, and year in, year out, you have a number of quality players coming into the system. The bigger thing for me, Mariah and Lance, is how the... Um, local players, meaning regional players, perform within these setups because that's what I'm always looking forward to. I'm looking for how can individuals slot into very specific um, spots and roles for the West Indies team. And quite often, I look to the CPL to see, okay, who is next? And I spoke about Joel Andrew. Another player that I really want to see how they go in this season, CPL, is Matthew Ford. He's looked good at the international level already. He's just coming off a very good series against South Africa. But what I want to see is consistency for him to be able to take the confidence that he gained playing international cricket back into the CPL and lead that St. Lucia Kings bowling lineup because we've already seen that there is potential there. He has pace, um, he has uh, um, shown good accuracy, and how can he deliver now in a setup? Um, in a tournament where he is expected to do well, where maybe there is a little bit more pressure than um, when you come into a, a West Indies setup as a youngster. Still just 22 years old, um, but I'm very excited about the prospect of him in this tournament. Yeah, do you think the Ghana Amazon Warriors have what it takes to defend their title this season? Hmm. Well, they're consistent. <laughs> that is for sure. Um, and the final will be at home, back in Guyana as well. Yeah, they'll have to get there, but that has not been a problem for them in the past. So mm. you can't count them out, that is for sure, um, because they have shown the consistency year in, year out. The Guyana Amazon Warriors have said every single season, we have the quality and we have the temperament to go deep in the CPL. Whether they win it or not is another thing, but I think we can pretty much be guaranteed that they will be in the conversation. Yeah, and that usually means a lot. When I, when I select teams for tournaments, I like to look at the track record of a team and how sustained their quality of performances are. And um, again, Amazon Warriors would rank very, very highly. If you're, if, you're if, you're, if you're looking at that, you can guarantee that there'll be a force to be reckoned with in every tournament they play in T20 cricket, whether they win or not. And that's, that's not the same that you can say for any of the other teams that play. There was a time when TKR, you could pretty much bank on them to be there or thereabouts at the, at the, at when the championship is being decided. But they haven't been as good in recent years as they had been before. Yeah. The Ghana Amazon Warriors, a fantastic team with a lot of confidence. And you said it, 
right? That the final will be played at home. And if they get there, you know the appetite that the Guyanese have for CPL cricket. Um, they will want to perform in front of their adoring fans. Yeah. yeah, and they've got superstars in that lineup as well. Shea Hope comes in in fantastic form mm -hmm. um, from the World Cup for the West Indies. There's Shamar Joseph in their squad as well. He's also in great form. Good His pace Moti. is, is going to be instrumental. Yes, you spoke about um, Gurakesh Moti. Kevin Sinclair well, is in their Shepard. setup as well. Mm -hmm. Imran Tahir, mm -hmm. you can never count big, big him games. out. His experience, his quality. So mm -hmm. a lot of quality, a lot of experience in the Ghana Amazon Warriors setup so you can't count out the possibility of them successfully defending the title but as I said even if they don't I expect that come the back end of the tournament yeah. they'll be in with a shot yeah, and Barbados deep. Royals they as go well. deep, yeah yeah Barbados Royals as well we didn't get the um, time to of course uh, go through that particular squad but we have a lot of time you know the biggest party in sport is just getting started we can't wait for that first match tonight and of course we'll be bringing you updates highlights and analysis on every episode of the sports match so so we're going to take a quick quick break and when we come back maybe just maybe lance might be at the track break time <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 